G'day viewers, it's Trev the Bush and Beach Barista here again and uh, I'm here with uh, my mate Pete, we've been out riding our pushies and uh, we're going to have a nice little coffee here on the shores of uh, Maroochee River uh, This is the boat ramp at Maroochee where a lot of people put their boats in uh, and it was a lovely place to come on a beautiful day for a ride uh, Once again we're just making coffee out and live out in paradise and uh, today feeling on the bike I don't have a real lot of room so I brought this little mini mocha pot. A yeah, little cutie. Just does one shot. But uh, one shot's all we're going to do. We're going to be making a bonbon. Spanish bonbon coffee today. So uh, I'll get into it. Now, I put filtered water in here. I, uh, I'm drinking water. So I put it in this little thing, which I can't get off. That's okay. Uh, I fill the water up to just under the, uh, the valve there. Uh, perfect. So now I put my coffee in that. And this is beautiful Arabica coffee, medium roasted. I prefer to get most of my coffees or coffee I can from uh, the nice tropical countries near the equator, uh, if possible, single origin farms, beautiful coffees. Okay, got that tamper down. I'll just put the little lid on that. And with our little backpacker stove, we find our little lighter, which is in my pocket. <laughs> Isn't that ready? I'm going to light the little stove up. These are amazing, these little stoves. Look at that. There you go, it's like a Bunsen burner. See that little coffee machine on there? And now, I always like to keep the lid open on mine so I can just see the coffee coming through. When, when your coffee just come through and it starts spluttering, it's when you need to take it off because you don't want to don't leave it on there too long because it will it'll burn and make the coffee taste nasty. The good thing about using medium roast coffee is that you get a sweeter, not sweeter coffee because when you use a dark roast they've, they've burned it already when they're roasting. Uh, some people like that burnt flavour but me I like it sweeter. So uh, yeah it's just about now with a Spanish bomb one. The good thing about this way you can use this camping out put by the push bike. Of course, instead of milk, we use condensed milk. So uh, you don't have to worry about trying to keep the milk cold. And uh, a lot of recipes I saw, they go about half and half with uh, the condensed milk and the, and the coffee, but I think that's a bit too sweet. So I'm going to go about there. So I'm going to make this one for my, my mate Pete here, uh, who's behind the camera, which we'll see soon. Ah, oh, now the coffee's coming out of there. That's beautiful. I'll show them. And, We've got a really nice crema on top of that. That is looking so good. Look at that. Really nice coffee. Okay, so let's take that off now. And now it's simply a matter of turning the stove off. Putting the coffee in there. Like that. And look, you can see that the two-tone look, and that's what people like. Look at that. Beautiful. Just so uh, we make sure there's no impurities in that condensed milk. I know the water's clear because we always use beautiful filled water. Uh, the coffee's pure, but we don't know about the condensed milk. So to kill any anything that might be in the condensed milk, we'll add a little bit of vodka. There you go. Now that is a coffee for push bike riders. There's no doubt about it. So uh, I'll give that a stir. It's a bit of a shame to. Um, to have to spoil the look of it, isn't it? But you can't really drink it like that. So I'll give it a stir. Let me just stir it up like that. A bit sloppy, but that's all right. Now I'll give this to my mate Pete here, and uh, Pete, come around here and, and try this. Oh, do you have a mess? Okay, okay. There you go. On the chest, though. Chest up. Now, this is my friend Pete. Pete's going to test the coffee. Hey, all. Might need more stirring, oh, wow. Pete. Might need a bit more stirring. A lot of flavour. Yes, it is. It's a very strong coffee with a, a sweetness to it. And the vodka just makes it even better. I'd actually like rum in it too. I think rum would go really good with it. But uh, coffee. Hey so folks, that's a, that's a very simple, a very simple way to make a coffee out and about in paradise. And you don't have to uh, have much room. Look, small amount, everything's a little tiny. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So if you like this... Uh, Video, you can uh, subscribe to me, like me on Facebook. Uh, we can uh, come back again and see you 
make some more coffees out and about in paradise. So uh, I'll see you then. Bye all.